Hello, in this tutorial we will be demonstrating the proper installation procedure for Leviton's Lev Series Mechanical Interlocks. These devices incorporate a safety disconnect switch and an IEC receptacle in a non-metallic watertight enclosure. The interlock mechanism prevents the making and breaking of power under load by preventing the switch from being put in the on position until an IEC compatible plug is fully inserted. The plug cannot be removed until the switch is in the off position to ensure safety for the operator. This enclosure provides lockout capability in compliance with OSHA lockout tagout regulations, thereby assuring the connected equipment cannot be energized. Lev Series mechanical interlocks are designed to be more durable for superior performance in any industrial environment. For this installation, we will need the following tools a marker or pencil screwdrivers for flat, Phillips or Robertson screws, a level, a hole saw, a drill and drill bits, a torque limiting screwdriver, and a hub wrench or locking pliers. The mechanical interlock includes mounting hardware, a conduit grounding plate, grounding wire, installation instructions in three languages, an informed technology information card, a receptacle which is pre-wired to the switch, and a unique serial number and the inside of the device for future references. The mechanical interlock does not include screws to mount the device to the wall, as these screws vary based on the installation application, a UL listed watertight conduit fitting. Warning, to avoid fire, shock, or death, turn off power at the circuit breaker or fuse, test that power is off before servicing or wiring, and ensure connections are made in the same sequence as existing device connections. While not in use, make sure the bottom ring of the device is tight to preserve watertight ratings. Let's begin. We will start by mounting the enclosure. Loosen the screws on the device. Open the cover and remove the provided bag of mounting hardware and the conduit grounding plate. Close the cover and tighten the screws. Attach the mounting feet to the device using the provided screws and tighten to 15 inch pounds of torque. On a Lev Series mechanical interlock, no drilling is required to mount the feet. Using the clearance holes in the mounting feet, mount the enclosure to the wall. The enclosure must be mounted horizontally and vertically level with the receptacle end down. Now that the device is mounted, we can begin the conduit connection. Select your drill points and drill holes for conduit entry. Do not use the bottom center and bottom right drill points as this will interfere with the internal components. Be sure the drill bit and hole saw do not go too far into the enclosure as this may damage internal components. Refer to your instruction sheet for hole dimensions. Once drilling is complete, you are now ready to install your conduit hub. Open the device. Please note, to maintain our published IP ratings, the use of a UL listed watertight conduit fitting is required. Make sure the gasket is properly sealed and the inside locking ring is seated tightly against the inside grounding plate to assure proper grounding. Once the conduit hub is installed, we can now wire the device. If you are using the top feed conduit entrance, ensure you form condensation drip loops in wiring as shown in your instruction sheet. Wire the device using the wiring diagrams found in the instruction sheet. For this installation we are going to be wiring a 30 amp non-fused device. While wiring, tighten all terminal screws as per the torque values found in the instruction sheet. Make sure there are no stray conductor strands. Ensure the gasket is in place in the cover groove. Close the cover and tighten screws to 20 inch pounds of torque. The installation is now complete. You can now turn your main power back on. To use this device, insert a plug and turn the mechanical interlock on. Remember, the interlock mechanism prevents the making and breaking of power under load by preventing the switch from being put in the on position until an IEC compatible plug is fully inserted. Be sure to utilize your circuit ID label on the front of the device. For more information regarding Leviton's complete offering of Lev Series IEC 60309 devices, visit our website at leviton.com slash levseries.